So proper firearms handling and safety at the range is of paramount importance. Of course, I think most people in the shooting sport world and in the hunting world know that uh, firearms are uh, easily handled safe, but there's a couple of key elements. So here we are at the range, and today I brought a 22 rifle uh, in a soft case. Uh, the bolt is closed on the rifle that you can see, and as soon as I get to the range, I like to open the bolt so anybody can see that it's safe. Okay, so first thing is we're removing the trigger lock, so it's a combination lock. I prefer that over keys because since I own a number of firearms, I like to have a combination trigger lock. This gun has a magazine, so when it's sitting here not doing anything, we like to have the magazine out of the firearm, and of course the very first thing is the gun is pointed downrange in a safe direction. So a couple of key elements for firearms handling is we always consider the firearm to be loaded. It should never be pointed anywhere other than downrange or when it's being taken to be put on the rack. So we make sure we have the right firearm, the right ammunition. We'll set up some targets in a minute and do some shooting. But finger off the trigger, unless you're addressing a target. The gun not loaded, unless uh, you're ready to shoot. And again, as you can see here, the action is open on the firearm so that anybody walking by can see that the firearm is safe. At the range, if you're there by yourself, pretty simple to monitor your activities by yourself. If the range has two or three people, then somebody needs to coordinate uh, between the two or three people on when the range is safe. Many ranges have lights, a red or a green light. In this range, we rely on verbal uh, communication between the participants to see when the range is safe. And quite often, it would be declared, range is safe. That means people could go down and change targets or the range is hot. That means everybody should have ear and eye protection on. And of course, if you have normal glasses, that does count as eye protection. Otherwise, you need safety glasses before, before you shoot. we start shooting. Of course, we've come in the range. We brought our firearm safely in the range. Uh, we're following all the safety protocols. We're also responsible to sign in. It's a legal requirement for us to sign in when we come to the range. So we ask you to do that. So another part of range safety is, of course, the flag rules. Uh, the red flag, when it's displayed outside the shooting shed, means that the shooting shed is active. People are actively shooting. So you would put that up. If you're going down range and all the guns are safe, then you put the green flag up. So I'll just show you where those go in the Van Horn range. Step outside the door. And the red flag simply goes on the holder, as does the green flag. Again, in terms of range safety, although firearm shooting is very safe, people could experience any sort of injury while they're at the club. Uh, if there happens to be some form of accident, we do keep a first aid kit on uh, at the shooting event all the time. So there are some bandages and some gauzes. Of course, uh, you would use those. Let us know if you use them so we can replace them. And uh, if there's been an accident at a range, we would really like to hear about that as well. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial on firearm safety and the Buckley Valley Rum Gun Club Gun Range at 7091 Croker Road, Smithers, BC.